I'm Pastor John Ross of Trinitarian Christian Church. Hey, God bless nice you, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Question. Uh-huh. I, I applaud you guys for what you're doing because I'm, I'm mm -hmm. anti-abortion. But my, I have young kids, uh -huh. and I think I personally think that the, the, the pictures are way too graphic. Yeah, pretty graphic. Yeah, for early morning with kids going to school and taking tests. And, yeah. you know, my kids this morning were like, I don't want to see that first thing in the morning. I teach right. my kids about that. And I, I, we're, we're a pretty tight-knit community here. Right. My, my biggest issue with what, you know, is the pictures right. and how that affects kids preparing for tests, taking tests, and that visual being constantly in their mind all day through the rest of their lives. And I understand that, hey, maybe that's a good thing, but I, I think that's just a, you know, yeah. that's taking away the responsibility of the parent to talk to the children about this and saying, okay, you know, yeah. how, what's the traumatic effect yeah. on them and their day and their week, you know, with pictures like that. Well, I think it's TV smart the kids or... sitting outside of a, a high school for yeah. the students to see yeah. them. So they can make the right choice and not... Yeah. Well, my answer would have to be, I got A and B. So yeah. A is uh, number one cause of death in Texas is abortion. Uh -huh. You know, so it's number one cause of death in America. Also, there's more people that um, die of abortion every year in America than yeah. every war we've ever fought as yeah. Americans. Okay. Yeah. So what happens is society says it's okay yeah. even christians say it's okay well you know yeah. and let's let's and b let's use you as an example okay and i'm sure you're a fine example but let's use you as an example you say you're anti-abortion how are you anti-abortion like how do you oppose abortion how do you help bring an end to abortion well just like in the days of slavery mm -hmm. the church and the pastors were against slavery but they didn't want to do anything to bring about an end to slavery Here's what I, what I believe, and here's what the Bible teaches. Uh -huh. Let every man choose for himself. My responsibility as a Christian is to teach the Word of God, to promote the Word of God by being an example. First and foremost, that's the first right. thing I have to do, yeah. is be an example. Secondly, is I teach my children, they become an example. And then from that, every person who does their job becomes an example. And we teach abstinence, then there's no need for abortion. So it, it's not a, it's not a, so much of a question as what what is the right thing to do as much as it is what's the wrong thing to do. Because even Jesus said these words. If I can beat the I can beat the word into someone, that doesn't make them that doesn't change them. But well, here's what I'll do. I'll show them love. I'll show them love. And I'll show them in love in a way that they'll want to receive what I'm offering versus throwing it at them and saying, hey, you need this. So, but that's not the issue for me this morning, as much as it is, once again, just the issue of yeah. the pictures being so graphic yeah. and the effect of the kids. I would like to support you with what you're standing for. I think it's a good, I think it's really good because I know I believe what you're standing for is right. And as long as you stand on this corner, there's no one that can tell you that it's wrong. All right. Thanks, man. Um, hey, thank you. Right. And I once again, I applaud you guys for what you're doing. I just well, you the pictures. You, you the pictures sound are just too much. like a pastor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And part of the reason number one cause of death in America is abortion, I believe, is because the church isn't defending the innocent, isn't keeping back those that are being led to slaughter. I, I, I wouldn't agree. I wouldn't agree with that. I would. So how I, do you oppose it then? Here's, here's, how do you here's defend I, the innocent? Here's what I think the problem is. You want to talk what the problem is? I think the problem is, is that not so much the church doesn't doesn't oppose it as much as the church uh, or the people of the church. Because if you say the church, only a pastor can only preach the word of God. He can't make anybody do it. Is that people no, but he, take he the, himself the, can oppose evil. He yeah, himself, like true that, religion. You, What's you, true you, religion? You do, true and undefiled religion is this tend to the orphans and the widows That's right, what's what more said. of an or orphan than these well, kids I, right here I, here's here's you i don't, I don't want to get into in, into uh, politics or even into oh my studies. gosh you sound such what? like such a bad pastor man this okay. is politics no 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 here's what i'm this saying is here's, politics? No, here's what i'm saying here's what i'm saying to you here's Dude, what i'm saying to you what church do you I, go to again what's, what's, i'm the pastor of trinitarian christian church here in the 3950 coolidge street dallas texas but that's not the uh, issue. 
Here's not the issue. Is this the politics, issue? though? No, no. I'm is not it saying, politics? No, watch this. I'm not saying it's politics. Here's what I'm saying. From, we can make it politics, we can make it, we can try to make it biblical. I stand on the biblical word of God, but at the same time, like I said, I applaud you guys for what you're doing. I think the means in which you're doing it may not be the best way what to if make they were a change killing, for kids. What if it was legal to kill black people, man? What's this? Would, Listen, would you say the same thing? It was. Would you, it was. I know. Would you say the it same was. thing as a pastor yes, and I say, was. look, as long as we teach our people to be good Christians, nobody will kill black watch people. This. Don't bring up, don't try to defend you the guy being this. lynched. You, 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 no, watch this. You, you, Martin Luther King Jr. would be very sad you about you, know, man. It does, you can't tell me about Martin Luther King. You can't. The time has come for America to hear the truth that the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who in a period of moral crisis maintain their neutrality. There comes a time when silence is betrayal. Town, if this state, if this country says that killing babies is okay, then we're going to show you, man, and we're oh, going to show everybody, and we have to live with it because it's hidden away in the but darkness. You're watch this. But you're taking away, you're taking away the authority of the parent and the right of the child to not see that. Look, the rights of the living children do not supersede murder. All right. Hold on. So, no, 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 so no, what we this. do? Oh, so you, so you, so you're saying, so you're saying the traumatic effect it, uh, on my children. You know what the traumatic no, no, effect I'm, no, I'm is? Ask, no, I'm asking you a simple question uh -huh. based on what you just said. Right. You're saying the traumatic effect on my kids who are opposed to abortion, who, who promote abstinence, the traumatic effect on them seeing things like this is of no value to you. No, and, 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 no, and it is value. No, and you feel no what happens is, no, I do feel responsibility because this, look, they sit and listen to apathetic pastors no, that don't, don't bring no, up, don't. No, that don't. don't. Yeah, I'm calling you apathetic, man. Well, God bless you. All right. Oh, why are you walking away now, man? Because truth yeah, you, you don't truth know, hurts. Me, but you truth hurts. Uh, no, it's not about you, truth. you already told me you don't do anything to help end abortion. That's, that, that's not the truth, but God bless you. You don't do any, what do you do? Apathetic, man.